This mass went through an explosion that resulted in the creation of molecules, atoms, and stars galaxies that can be observed right now. This has been the reason provided by physicists for decades, but only recently, a new idea has emerged. From a research vantage point that suggests the universe has not as early an origin as initially thought. It could be a part of a recurring process in which the universe experiences a sequence of expansion and contraction cycles. Brian Cox, a well-known physicist, has also brought disagreements regarding the Big Bang theory that cannot result in anything. Nothing about this interrogation adds a fascinating aspect to the discussion. Supplementary data from the James Webb Telescope has provided information that opposes the idea that the Big Bang marked the complete start of the universe. This brings us to the basic question. In the event that the Big Bang was not the beginning of the universe, what followed? Take this journey with us to the very beginning of the universe, where we will explore the frontiers of the Big Bang and respond to this question and numerous others. If you want to keep up to date with universe news and its surroundings, please share this channel by clicking the like button to expand its audience and turn on the alarm bell. Scientists have developed a thorough comprehension of the early stages of the universe, referred to as the Big Bang Theory. The universe fit this model, much less dense and hotter than it is now, around 13.8 billion years ago. All of the components that existed at that time, our world, were created in a matter of minutes. In this theory, our universe, including galaxies and stars, formerly weighed as little as a peach and had an extreme temperature of more than a quadrillion degrees, which is an interesting, remarkable narrative that fits together in accordance with all current observations made by astronomers. They analyzed everything to the last vestige of the early electromagnetic radiation universe, in accordance with the abundance of the smallest components, and have discovered that the predictions are correct in every way to the best of our ability. Knowing that this description fits the perfect reality of our universe, but despite its apparent strength, we are aware that the Big Bang Theory has something missing. The missing piece in this puzzle is an understanding of the very first moments the universe faces. This challenge largely arises because of the restrictions of the physical theories that we use right now. The synthesis of general relativity and the physics of high-energy particles gives us an important conceptual framework. But as we go deeper into the initial moments of the cosmos, the level of mathematical complexity rises significantly, getting to a point where our current methods are unable to provide meaningful solutions. One example of this problem is the existence of a point of singularity at the beginning of the infinity of density. This idea suggests, literally, that the Big Bang pushed the universe together into a state that is infinitely small and dense, which makes it seem absurd. To deal with this challenge, we must investigate new physics frontiers, propose an approach that gets around these restrictions, and provide a more comprehensive comprehension of the very beginning of our universe. Current theoretical and instrumental Frameworks lack the strength to solve this problem, so we need to create new physics that can include and detail gravity in addition to the other fundamental forces at very high energies. This is where string theory comes in. String theory aims to be a real-world model capable of uniting the forces of gravity and additional fundamental forces, particularly at extremely high energies. Theoretically, it could provide an explanation for the very beginning of the universe. Emerging from string theory is the notion of an episodic universe, named after the Greek word referring to conflagration or fire. This concept suggests that the Big Bang, in its current form, was brought about by an earlier event, implying that it was not entirely the beginning, but rather a component of an ongoing procedure. The result of expanding the concept of an ekparotic universe is the creation of a related theory known as cyclic cosmology. Despite the concept of a cyclic universe having been taken into account for millennia, string theory provides a solid mathematical foundation for this idea. In the context of cyclic cosmology, the universe operates as though it exists forever, fluctuating between powerful explosions and ruining itself in a vicious cycle that extends indefinitely into the past and future. This cyclic cosmology theory 
was suggested by the renowned physicist Roger Penrose, who won the Nobel Prize. Penrose was taken aback by an amazing mathematical connection between the early universe, defined by its extreme compactness, heat, and density, and the future after the Big Bang of the universe, distinguished as extremely cold, expanded, and without matter. According to the theory, these two states are mathematically identical when tested to the breaking point. Even though it may appear contradictory, it's possible that the total absence of matter is the driving force behind the development of everything we see around us in the universe. From this vantage point, the Big Bang originates from what almost remains imperceptibly after the entire situation in which black holes have completely consumed the universe, eventually filling with photons scattered across a vast void. The universe originates from this perspective, basically approaching a form of nothingness that remains resembling a real universe, albeit an empty one. The method by which the same state can be seen as both a dense universe and a cold, empty universe, depending on the perspective, is the key to this comprehension. This is a complicated method in mathematics known as conformal transformation, which involves alterations in the geometry of an object while retaining its size. Roger Penrose demonstrated that the cold, empty state and the hot, dense state can be linked together by changing their alignment with their spatiotemporal structures. Despite variations in size, they may essentially be the same. Penrose asserts that the concept of size loses its significance in light of these extreme physical circumstances in cyclic cosmology. A pattern of events emerges from an older, young, hot state to a cold one. The hot and dense state is caused by the previous cold and empty state, but this causal relationship doesn't always go as planned. The pattern, in terms of the length of time since these extreme states, includes both time loss and size. Their usual meanings are that the cold, empty condition and the hot, dense condition exist on distinct timelines, which indicates that, from an observer's point of view in his own time, the cold, empty situation would persist indefinitely. Philosophy and physics are intertwined in this field of cyclic ideas. The study of the cosmos provides speculative and in-depth explanations of these cycles, despite the fact that Penrose's cosmology lends credence to ideas. It answers a more in-depth philosophical question that still hasn't figured out the actual physical reality. How did these cycles form, which brings us here to consider the significance of the existence of something as opposed to nothing, a fundamental metaphysical concept? For our discussion purposes, we will concentrate on the explanations in the realm of physics, which includes three possibilities to consider in exploring the possible beginnings of these cycles. There is no tangible explanation for it. It could consist of an infinite number of cycles, where a different cycle represents each universe, and the initial state of quantum mechanics of each universe is determined in some way by a universe-wide feature. Finally, there is the choice, before it of both a single cycle and a series of universes, in which the initial cycle is explained by some feature of these possibilities. They are attractive because they do not require unrelated occurrences and offer a more intricate explanation in the physical structure in the field of physics. Penrose suggests that there is no end to the cycle sequence, influenced by his quantum mechanics interpretation in the physical system. Quantum mechanics exists simultaneously in multiple states until it is discovered, after which it collapses into a single state at random. According to Penrose, each cycle is impacted by erratic, quantum events that produce differences between cycles. This idea presents promising possibilities for conducting physicists, as it suggests the possibility of picking up on minute traces or anomalies in the radiation that remains from the Big Bang. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section, if you enjoy it. Take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video in order to expand its audience.